So if you do artwork, you can destroy pennies. <laughs> Interesting. Jeremy was on um, three. So if you yeah, can, I you play, play player two. <laughs> can you be on player four? Can you choose that slot like by clicking on it? I don't think so. I think when I load in, I am player two. So if I had left and then he had left and come back in, and mm -hmm. then I had come back in as the third player, I could have created my own character. But we I, we didn't push for that. So. Right, yeah, because we were just like random and didn't even know how it worked. I wish it was a little more yeah. functional, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Yeah, it should lock uh, a character in. Like, it, it probably makes the game way too complex, but <clears throat> I don't know. I think uh, mm. any action by any of the multiplayer players should be... I could use the target practice. Right. Well, and for some reason, I thought there might be a way to manage it. Like, I feel like maybe they need to fix it or something. No one stopped me yet. So, it looks like you're in the game and you've taken over... I don't even know how to look at... Look at stuff. I don't remember where we are in this game. We haven't really done that much. There's so much we can do. about it when he gets back in and plays a kick. The, uh, everybody's hair looks terrible. Oh, that's too bad. Um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I like carrying this bow that gives me advantage against monstrosities because not that it gives my character, it, it just gives me advantage when I'm fighting a monstrosity, even if it's like a spell or something else. <laughs> so I can hit my spells easier. Nice. But it's really good for the rogue to have advantage against monstrosities because. Um, then you get sneak attack every turn without hiding. <laughs> this is so good. We don't have a rogue in our party, do we? That's okay. This is a pretty good party. 
rest area. Yeah, I'd probably have to dismiss Carlac or Shadowheart. No time to dally. But well, let's see. We well, they help with sneaking around and log picking and stuff disarming traps and all that. Although Shadowheart can do some of those things, she's not quite as good as Asterion is though. She's not really, let's see, character, look at the character sheet. What she got? She got history and religion. She's got insight and medicine. Slide of hand plus one. It's not great. Actually, not really trained in it. I'll take a look. You've got to keep moving. Still breathing, despite yeah. everything. Haze of death. <laughs> Alright, I guess. So I've got some healing spells, and so do you. So we Best really be on my don't way. need Shadow Bird, do we? I want Carlite, though. That's probably fun. Something the matter? Yeah. If you're sure. I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. <laughs> okay. So she's shared stash. Camp supply sack from Shadowheart, Alchemy Pouch, Keychain, and Skeleton. Okay, except now I'm probably encumbered. Or to put it in the stash. How am I carrying a skeleton? I'm gonna put it in a box. Something good here, I hope. This character build. Um, once I hit like, I think it's level like fifth level character, but I'm like level four wizard and level one cleric. I had all these scrolls on my single player game, and I learned like a whole bunch of level three spells, even though it didn't let me learn any when I leveled. <laughs> because like. If you have a spellcaster cast, you have the slots open that a, you know, like a fifth level spellcaster would have. But because you don't have that level, like in Wizard alone, then you don't learn any of those spells until like another level later. is pretty good, but the question is how do you fix the hair? Yeah, 
Yeah, her textures are kind of hard anyway. Oh man, I don't have magic missile. This is perfectly set up for a misadventure of some kind. Do I have the info? No, I do not. So we will. Looking ahead. Okay. Oh, I'm low on spells. Oh yeah, who should we invite? You wanna invite the stereo? Swift as my feet can carry me. Well, hello. What can I do for you? <laughs> Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. <laughs> You're gonna have to overclock your thing. Trust no one. Press ahead. Now the other thing we can do is if you wanted to invite me into your um, your personal game, I can play a Starian or somebody. Create my character in your world. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm gonna save it because I feel like I made a little bit of progress. Character that you want to play, and 
I can play whoever, I guess. So, but now, what do I do? Go to multiplayer. Cancel. Let's go to quick game. Yes. So, what I usually do is I just open up the game and then somehow you find your way in. And my settings are such that... Oh, I quit the game entirely. That was dumb. <laughs> well, no, I, I just even look... Well, okay, so the first time I did it, um, I went into multiplayer and I, like, specified it to be multiplayer. But then, this time, I just went into load and loaded it. Well, did you go into your game? I need to load up the game again because I unloaded it. <laughs> I had a dumb moment. I I I quit the I quit the game. <laughs> it was a it was a dumb dumb move, but it's what happened. might be right about that. But I I was under the impression that people could join my single player game. Like cuz like when you when you go to multiplayer doesn't it like let you load a save in there or something. I seem to have messed everything up on my computer. Oh, there we go. Willow? <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can get into your game. I could play Gale, that might be fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the same class. But Gale's got his whole backstory and everything. We might find out more shit about Gale. <laughs> if I play him. Yeah. Man, my Google Chrome is not responding. Oh boy. I had crashed Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Did something wrong. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, no, close. Let's. Back to Steam. Stop. Confirm. <laughs> Stopping, it says. All right. Play. I've never played a monk before. I could definitely play a monk. 
the options are endless.
there are a bunch of filters. Like you can filter by type, by weight, by value. It's like a little button at the top, you see it. Hope the lo Pals, something just woke up down here. Be wary. It's opened. I wonder what's back there.
like I created this character before Dungeons and Dragons, and I kind of had a like like an image of who she was and how she looked. Deep and move.
You should search that corpse. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Take that. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. It looks 
looks healthy, but it's stone dead. training those children. The carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. And your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. A long road ahead. That's in the druid camp. Very well. She's a thief, Hell Spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give him a chance. You, get back! <laughs> no, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. I do wish I could understand you. Yeah. Well, you can you can end up fighting her if you like go to the source. <laughs> This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? 
I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I'll take this way. Go on. Say it. Monster. Too kind. A demon, more like. say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. We can talk later. Oh wait, maybe I gotta switch off to Still breathing, despite everything. How much farther can I go?
wounds. I know that look. You're wondering... It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Why does he have a thing that hurts? Lupus. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Rat guy. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Master Halsin. Perhaps goblin caught, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. <laughs> Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halston <laughs> is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, boy. It's all right. Oh, my back. Where is she? That way. Oh. You closed the door. <laughs> I see you. Just give me a moment. These medicaments. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? <sighs> I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> you seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? <laughs> I... I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Yeah, she's thinking about it. We need to be quick. This way. <laughs> oh, cool. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after.
No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. <laughs> All right. Suspicious. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> What's that plan? She shifts <laughs> uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Possibly, you could get I withers to bring you come back. I hope it does that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. 
Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Time, Nettie. Come on. Okay. All right. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Better than becoming a mind flayer. Keep it in case things start to go very wrong. I had a bag of holding. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> no, I just walked out into Nettie's, like, bigger room. Although I noticed in this little room back here on the table, there's a jarred uh, parasite tentacle or parasite in a jar, which like if you'd gone with the other option on that guy, it would have given you a parasite in a jar that you could consume later. And so there's like one right here that's worth a hundred gold, <laughs> but it's red, so they might notice if you take it. <laughs> Yeah. Better be cautious. What do we have here? 
Yeah. Just want my bed. What the? No, the dead body that we saw. Like if you absorb the 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 thing, <laughs> then then they give you give you one in a jar that you can use later. And and there's one in a jar on the on the desk over there. <laughs> I was like, huh, you can just steal one and get a new power, huh? Anyway, let's go. Do you want to fight the harpies and save the kid? Harpies are hard to fight. Oh, Does anybody have bless? Um, the spell bless. It's a cleric spell. To put my hands on everything. Um, Shadowheart should have it. But if you if you cast Bless on us or most of us, then we won't be as affected by the Harpy Song. We won't lose as many turns. It's like a golden cross, the spell. Well, for one thing, I don't remember how long it lasts for. Does it say if it's ten turns? So we should probably save it until the fight starts. <laughs> ten turns is like a, like pretty fast. <laughs> but if you come this way, I'll kind of show you. Up the hill is a bard that sings a song and we can have a conversation with her, that's kind of fun. And an item Gale can eat. I'm going to take this chest that's hiding back here. Pick and I'll fill my pack. Dance upon the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away More like butchering Don't know why I bother No, I'm moments away from a grisly death At the hands of this bloody song I can't... Nothing fits, you know? True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it. But when you're stuck and it's just getting worse, oh.
Mm. It can't hurt. <laughs> I have her. I have an extra. If you do it right, she'll you sing want? the song. That's pretty good. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like her Jester Bells. <laughs> I like Jester outfit. Just creeping on her. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was longer than I remembered. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was awful. I couldn't look at a loop without hearing her screaming. 
I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. All right. Actually, that's not true. I have a chest in my inventory that I stole from behind the pillar on the right. <laughs> but, we need to open it, I guess. It's got something for a bard in it, which we don't really have a bard. <laughs> you can pick his pocket. A sweet melody beckons <laughs> you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. Oh, you succeeded. Why do you have advantage? Oh, is that me? Oh, I have... Waiting for Tom. Oh, no, that's you. Definitely you. It's so weird. The okay. suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. In, in the battle yet. So I'm gonna... Uh, wait. Oh no. I'm going towards the harpy. <laughs> I failed, I guess. Oh. Lured. One turn remaining. Is the damn wolf. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Jump. <laughs> my wolf is like in the wrong place.
Wolf. <laughs> oh no, she didn't cast Bless on us. <laughs> no, she's, she's, uh, charmed. <laughs> We're losing this fight. <laughs> yeah, get some height advantage. Oh. My wolf was like stuck up by the bard, and so I had to bring him all the way over. But turns were happening in combat while I was off doing that nonsense. Are you throwing the wyvern toxin? <laughs> Foul wind charlatan. Uh, Your tricks will cost you. I saved. Okay. Ooh. Rebuke, do it. <laughs> so good. Where's the kid? Way up there. But you've got Will in front. Oh, okay. What? Uh, yeah, on on the kid maybe, <laughs> or whoever whoever's over there, the three of them, because you can do three with the level one bless. Uh, cancel the turn. Wait, oh, I can move away, but I don't want to. Yeah, end turn. It's your turn. got two actually. I got one up here and you got one down there. No, we got three. Cause that one over on the ground is dead. Yeah, just, one, just the main left. Uh oh, she's gonna kill the kid. 
Oh no, she went for... Alright. Ensnaring strike. No. Wait, why can't I... do that? do my abilities. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't want to go down there. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> we lost the kid. No. Not really. Nope. Shot it. Eldritch Blast. You can pick up the kid. Should mind my step. Uh, kid is dead, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> resistance. <laughs> there's... There's a couple of things around here hiding about. I don't have a shovel. But I thought... There was a like a like a chest you can dig up on this edge, maybe. Maybe it's up here further. Oh yeah, there's a Yeah, there's like a there's like a harpy's nest over there actually. Let's see here. Did you use up all your short rests? Because yeah, I don't have it as an option. Harpies were hoarding. All right, I found a ring of color spray. Yeah, you can climb up from down here if you kind of know what you're doing. I saw another treasure I should Open go up. grab. I'm gonna cast Good Berry on myself. Inventory. Consume. Consume. Myself a little. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so, um, I cast Goodberry 
and then I ate the berries, and each time I'd eat a berry, she's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> And I was like doing it in a succession, so it was really funny sounding. <laughs> As you can imagine. It was like super dumb. That's a highlight for sure. <laughs> Something over there. I need a shovel. Do you have a shovel? Oh, I've got a shovel. I must have borrowed yours. Haha, gold in the grease bottle. Do I have a shovel? I don't. I have a spoon, maybe I use that. <laughs> Short bow, same as this one. Oh, so I've got this ring of color spray. I guess I'm going to equip it. <laughs> you can take it off of her later, like when I'm not in the game. Oh yeah, I'm going to send you um, these notes that I found in the harpy nest, so you can read them and figure out whatever whatever stuff you want to figure out. Yeah, I guess not. Oh wait. I think I can... Pick your pocket for what? Oh no, I uh, I sent it to you. Like you can just right click an item and send it to a character on the list down below. So you should have a book and like a note that are new in your inventory from me. It won't say it's from me though, it'll just be like appear there. And then you can read it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't remember what it's about. about like like story plot points or game lore or something no <laughs> I've read it before I just some of the notes will like lead you to treasure or you know other interactions what do you want to do now like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom. Our little hellion <laughs> told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. <laughs> we saved one out of two kids down there. <laughs> did, but I was robbed. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Mary. All we can offer is our thanks. Arabella, 
Thank you for helping me. What have you heard? It's our job to get us out of here safely. <laughs> Not yours. It's my job too. You. Oh, you got in you got inspired. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. Stupid. Oh, did they? What does it do? Okay, so you can cast light in dark places. Or you can feed it to Gale. Great choices. Let's see. Uh, oh, I've got a I've I've got an I item that Gale can absorb as well. <laughs> All right. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Um, looks like there's a hidden cache on the map, but I don't see how yeah. I can get to it. So... Oh, I think I know. Wait, where? Yeah, so if we teleport to the Emerald Grove environs and then we can walk over to um, this marker that I made, you can jump up there and climb up. Oh, you're ahead of me. <laughs> so good at giving instructions that my friends are getting away. <laughs> and then... Yeah, so like right here... You go... jump. I had to cast jump on some people to get them up here. Don't mind if I do. Well... There is a little encounter up here we can do. Is she stuck? You got her up? Okay. I'm gonna let you go up the ladder first, because there's like an encounter with a conversation right at the top. Place is this a path to redemption or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. Similar. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. I What's don't that? know if there's a bard you can collect in the game. <laughs> they do know how to <laughs> write might them be, in but if it, Whoever it is, they? I don't know who it is. Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service.
Why, I never. You're paranoid, aren't you? Must be the surroundings. Rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. <coughs> The house of hope, yeah. where the tired the house come to of rest, hope. and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. There you go. It's true form. <laughs> What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. A mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. <clears throat> All right, we motivated now? Just you did. Yeah, that's kind of fun. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chickenous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth.
The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. <laughs> the spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Oh, there you go. I think you can throw that spider egg sack to summon a spider in battle. But let's make, let's up the ante here. A cluster of spiders scuttle inside the crevice. Reach in to crush the spiders. <laughs> Infuriated spiders pour in all directions like sand. The swarm is coming. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> because I uh, woke them up. Never a dull moment. Maybe you can go this way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> just just a, a glutton for XP. <laughs> really? Where do you wanna where do you wanna go? Goblin camp for Halson? Yeah. Okay. Making pretty good jumps. Did you hurt yourself? Yes, we gotta go to the Blighted Village. I don't have. Maybe we should do a long rest. like trying to open a box and then it like pulled me to camp <laughs> it like gave me an option I was like oh <laughs> let's go sleep can I mm. Tough. Oh, it's really tough. Let's see. Bludgeoning. Do you have any bludgeoning weapons you can send me? <laughs> yeah. Devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. Hmm. I don't have any 
these tools. I'm just gonna work on this. Oh, only hit that deals 22, 22 damage can damage it. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't think I can open that by myself. Well, maybe with this oil barrel. <laughs> we could try that. Do you have a candle? Oh, there's fire everywhere. Let's see. Do I have a way to shoot fire? No. You seem good enough. Yeah, come over by Withers. We're gonna try and blow him up. You got somebody that's got uh, some way to light that barrel on fire from ranged? <laughs> We're gonna I'll blow up in the chest. Cap always room for more. Curing. Now we can feed this item to Gale. It says, Cap of Curie, soothing song. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, they also gain one to six hit points. Gale can absorb this. For now, I'm gonna equip it, I guess. The dancing lights one. There's like a random keychain on the ground. <laughs> Let his bluster fall. I think he wants something from us. Badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. <laughs> I'm the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, hmm. Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because there's something about the tadpoles that he values, because he wants the tadpole. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Not especially.
wonder if I can change my spells. I don't think I can. I think I'm stuck with what I got. Oh, I like watch you guys sleeping because I got enough of a rest already as a... <laughs> Says like I'm just like sitting here watching us. Oh, stare in, cut it out. <laughs> yeah, it gives me this cute little message. It says, "Some of your companions remain deep in dreamful sleep and can't awaken yet." You can observe another party member's dream if they allow you. Oh, I can, like, click on your dialogue. You don't sleep well, <laughs> flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake... It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood... I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Well, I. What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down. Not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you, and you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice, not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. <laughs> snoring. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that weird creepy sigh. Oh yeah, I was like looting this stuff. What's hiding here? Dead goblins. 
Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Something like that. I did by this tree. I think there's a cache under the tree. That's oh, good. Well, that's good. That's curious. Wait, what did I see? I saw something over, oh, it's a dirt mound, that's why. Oh, a bunch of useful arrows. Potions too. Gain for sixty experience from what? Nothing. Then keep looking. Are we? Let's see, oh, that's right, hiding. Fight our way in. <laughs> okay. Ten four. <laughs> oh, you're. <laughs> I almost shot him, and then you killed him. <laughs> bunch of encounters in here and stuff underneath you sniffing where you ain't ought to be friend might have to take that nose a 
strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. <laughs> yeah, let's go with... Hoping to fail. <laughs> Fair enough. I succeeded. We got a hundred XP for that. <laughs> for intimidating him, yeah. <laughs> Keep your paws to yourself. No, it's not the goblin camp per se. Haven't seen that game in years. If you want to keep your insides on the inside. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, now now you're headed towards the the goblin area. Oh no, spider. Where are you? <sighs> Damn it. For a sec, I gotta reset my spider. These things have stayed interesting. Yeah, there's a so there's like a couple ways. There's like a couple ways to get in. One way is somewhere there's a place to sort of like jump down, but it's not up here. Oh. Better not be cursed. Yeah, I found a, another mound. I've got survival trains, so I'm finding like all these treasure chests in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Found some good stuff. A stone bridge. Wait, where did you go? Oh, um, like around the around the side somewhere. Oh, you've discovered something fun. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more. I want to get a little closer to this mess. Let's see. Oh, well, I tried to climb up onto the high ground, and I think it, like, triggered the battle. <laughs> I don't know whose turn it is, though. Oh, what happened? Yeah.
Stand in my way. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? It's like way back behind. Oh, wow. A bomb. <laughs> If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while, I uh, promise! Alright! Just don't hurt me! Hmm. Anything of use? Uh, there's this two switches on the back. One that does what you want, and the other that does something else. <laughs> Would you go downstairs? downstairs. I'm coming. Whoa, somebody cast a spell? Oh, like, 
prayer of healing. Oh, I can't summon another spider. Oh, you you were poisoned. You ate some bad cheese. Wait, I can equip this? Send me the jumping gloves? Or I just accidentally picked those up. Well, I've got these gloves that basically let me jump without using a bonus action. down here. Yeah. No, yeah, it's not up here. It's down on the base of this. Um, there's a release brake lever and a brake lever. down here by me. If you come down the ladder, you'll see. Here, I can, uh, can ping them. Alt, right click. So, one, one will murder the guy and the other one will save his life. <laughs> I'll leave his life in your hands. Yeah, yeah, it goes faster and faster, and then he, like, flies off. Where'd he go? Oh, yeah. Free me and find out! <sighs> oh, bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs! Well, get on with it. Whatever you are. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? As expected. Coercion by the book. <laughs> Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. I've never like ignorance is alive and well it seems. Figured out if I could find his Deep pack or not. aren't restricted to the underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, like, I have no idea where his pack is. see it well might be able to oh yeah right here well if we had feather fall yeah you could jump down right here somewhere <laughs> you take a short rest. You can take a short rest after. Should we go? <laughs> I guess not. Are we ready to go? <laughs> there's, I mean... There's, there's some... There's... I mean, yeah, basically there's like... There's like all kinds of ways you, to go in and different battles you could face depending how you do it. It's all fun to me. I don't care which way to go. <laughs> but if you want to sneak in this way... Okay. Hey, make a make a save file. Did you save it? <laughs> um there are auto saves, but I don't know when the last one was. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't remember when what did we camp last? We camped and then what did we do? We did that fight basically. I already forgot what we did. Yeah, All right. Well, we lost a little progress, I suppose. Like, did. Because we. Well, we. Uh, we went to camp, right? And then we. You started sniping some of the goblins at the south side of the Blighted Village. Right? And then I. In, yeah, yeah, that's right. We were on the bridge when we camped. <laughs> So you'd have, to, you'd have to loot those guys that are in the front and shoot those guys on the side like you did again. That was actually a slick way to get it and it was that bottom side. So. Well, I might have to move a lot of stuff here in the next couple of days. <laughs> I, don't, 
I don't know if you have any available time, but... Okay, I mean, tomorrow... I've got a load to take up to Gosner's, I think. Although they haven't put it in the app yet. And then... What was the other thing? Well, I guess just like... I guess just like moving out my basic belongings in a mattress. You don't have a truck, do you? Or a trailer? Does he? Because that's... There's a lot of sort of like bigger things like a mattress and things like that that I need to move over to the apartment. So, yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> Get a truck on Sunday. <laughs> Oh right, yeah. That's this this weekend. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I'll uh, talk to you later. Alright, you too. Okay. Bye. I'm tired. All right, let's take a break from all this fun stuff. All right, if you're there, thanks for watching.